Scrapbooking.com Magazine presents the following adhesives article from the May 2013 issue, Pretty and Happy, by author and artist Jeannie Garcia for Tombow Adhesives. You can't always find the perfect paper or embellishments in your stash, so it's up to you to work with what you have. Check out this layout to see how I turned plain white cardstock into a custom background. It was easy. Be sure to check out the embellishments for a new twist on a classic toy. Use a speech bubbles mask with yellow glimmer mist to create a speech bubble pattern on your white cardstock. Once dry, use a black pen to outline each speech bubble. If you like, you can add a few extra lines to make the design more interesting. Now trim your speech bubble paper to 11 and a quarter inch square and mat it onto a piece of 11 and a half inch square pattern paper using Tombow's Stamp Runner Dot Adhesive. Take a rectangular piece of vellum and place it diagonally on your page. Add some star washi tape at the top and bottom. Use another piece of pattern paper for your 12 by 12 inch base. Cut a three and a quarter inch square out of the center and cut that into two triangles that will go in two opposite corners. Now place washi tape at the top of each triangle. Don't glue these two pieces if you plan on machine stitching since the combination of layers may be too thick for the needle in your machine and it could break. When both pieces are sewn, you can glue these two together. Now match your photos. I made faux Polaroid frames as the mat for mine. Place your elements on the page until you're happy with the arrangement and then start gluing them down. Use thickers or other alphas for your title. I cut the light bulb using my Cameo die cutting machine and enhanced it using vellum, an enamel dot, and a heart embellishment that I made. I glued this to the page using Tombow foam tabs. I also used embellishments that I'd made previously with a spirograph. I make a lot of them and then store them. Then when I need one, I just pick the one that goes with the page the best. This is easier than make them one at a time just when you need it. On the center of the spirograph embellishments, I added brads that I made using Epiphany Crafts brad settings. Now this next step can be a little tricky, but start playing with the twine to make loops. Use Tombow Mono Aqua Liquid Glue as you go along so it doesn't move. Apply the glue directly to the twine. The Mono Aqua Liquid Glue dries clear so you won't see any mistakes or excess glue when you're all done. Stamp the camera stamp on a piece of paper, cut it out, and glue it onto the page. You can add enamel dots to give it some extra detail. Add your journaling with tiny alphas or by handwriting. Add small details like the stitching on the photos. For the sequins and dewdrops, I like to use tweezers to place them while I apply Tombow Mono Aqua Liquid Glue. A printable project card with instructions and a list of supplies for this Tombow Adhesives project can be found by clicking on the step-by-step -step instructions link within the online version of this article. To find the products featured in this Tombow Adhesives article and shown in this layout, check with your local scrapbook retailer. Browse our premier retail stores for coupons to a store near you. We hope you enjoyed this article from Scrapbooking.com magazine. For more creative inspiration, be sure to check out all of the great articles and projects in this month's issue.